first all-female broadcast in Cubs history. You see him gracing the video board right there. Beth, Elise, T-Mac, and now it's business time. Bottom three, Miles Masterboni at the dish. It's all about being able to put the ball in play and make them make a play on you because at last look, Cliff, the Angels aren't great at playing baseball. No, you know what? We, we talked about hitting the ball at the ballpark. Today they play some small ball. I love it. Right? Scored a couple runs uh -huh. early. Miguel Amaya shooting one down the left field line. Danny oh, scores. Hey, 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 hey. Miggy, Miggy, let's, let's pump the brakes, pump the brakes just to taste. Pull back on those pedals. You're a catcher. <laughs> And each hit worth its weight in gold. Nico, sack fly right there. And one of the reasons why Gil Renard told us that baseball is better than life. It doesn't go against your average. Bro. No, it really doesn't, but that was a great situation on hitting. And that it was. Cubs with a nice, puffy 2-0 lead. Bottom four, Christopher Morell at the plate. If anyone can get one up and out of the ballpark, it's that guy. But you said it was all about small ball, just stringing together knots. And there's another one. Another one stayed on a nice little slider by Soriano. I thought, I thought Willis was going to send him, didn't you? Nope, nope. Nope. Gotta what did he say smart. yesterday? Got to be smart. You don't want to make that third out of the inning at third base. And then Mastro. Oh, he leave everybody stranded right there. That's how the inning would come to a close. But Hayden Wisniewski, well, he channeled his inner closer. Because in the fourth, Willie Calhoun. Woosa. You see him Woosa before you threw that? Hot hand in a dice game. Damn. Gets the ground out to end the inning right there. Mastro making it look smooth. Flips over. Then Mickey Moniak gets him. Chopping through that. Nolan Shawano. Lifts this one to center field, and well, it's all about making plays. Cody says, I got it, oh. I got it. Don't worry, Dansby, it's what teamwork is all about. Communication. Hayden Wisniewski in the seventh, still out there. Taylor Ward, see the ball, hit the ball, but Mastro not able to make that play. He made a whole bunch, not just today, but yesterday. You know what, Cole, we're gonna talk about in a second. If he doesn't make that error, does he go CG? I mean, it's 78 pitches. We'll talk about it in a little bit. We got yep. time. Yeah, he was at 86 at that point. And then Porter Hodge came on in. Zach Neto, gigantic leg kick and all to say, ya. Uh, local grocer, you know what they call it, can of corn. So bottom seven, let's go. Frozen? Michael Bush, he has been oh. a little stymied as of late, but uh, he's still in that 4th of July state of mind. Bag up, Terry! Hit the bus. Bag up! Yeah, he, he hit uh, the brakes off of that one. Uh, Michael Bush, his on base streak in consecutive games. It continues to rally around 26 in a row. He's reached base safety, and like we said, he didn't want to just get on base. He was all about a pillow touching. That's right, he got to touch all four of them, five to zero, the Cubs, and they get the shutout of those halos. They now move to seven games below 500. It's not ideal, but what's the hashtag that we're saying, Cliff? Race to 500. Race to 500. You get there, and you're right back in the mix for that second season. They out hit the Halos 7-3, and Hayden Wisniewski, he was a key component in keeping those Angels at arm's length.